Wherever you are in the world, welcome to Bales and Buzzers. Yes, welcome to Bales and Buzzers. Robbo here, Buzzer with me, and uh, Sunday. It all comes down to this, mate. Yes, the nerves are starting to go even as we think <laughs> about it. It's uh, Pakistan, knockout from here. Yeah. You know, it really is. It's going to be a fantastic occasion. Ireland has been playing very well throughout the tournament. Yeah. Pakistan getting better yeah. throughout the tur tournament. That's... So that's all coming together. Isn't one of the beautiful things about sport, just the, the rivalry, you know, going back to 2007 and now there the seems to almost be uh, this inextricable link between Ireland and Pakistan where you know there's going to be some sort of drama and some sort of excitement. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, I think when you go back to the 2007 <laughs> game where the, it was very much a, a green top wicket and it was mm. a low scoring game and, uh, and in 2013 when we tied one of the games and, and you know, probably should have beaten them. Um, in the other one and you know it's really coming down but I mean I think from speaking to people during the week you know you'd rather be playing Pakistan than playing India in the oh, final game. No question about you know, that yeah. So it's it really is going to be. Yeah Alex Cusack's joining us in a moment to talk about the game Adelaide Oval <coughs> long oval very narrow should be plenty of action there because there's always a you know the short boundaries to each side so you know a lot of boundaries a lot of sixes and of course normally it's a pretty good batting track pretty as track. well. Well so. of course it is Pretty close to your hometown, isn't it? My hometown? Well, I grew up just out of Adelaide, yeah. but lived in Adelaide all through my youth and yeah. I've been to the Adelaide Oval many, many a time and it's a, it's a beautiful ground yeah. and uh, particularly with all the work they've done on it now, yeah. it's, it's just fantastic. And uh, yeah, normally, uh, you know, favours the, the batting side, but, you know, over the years, most of the bowlers will tell you that, you know, if you work hard, um, there's something always in it for the bowlers as well. So it's going to be very interesting, I think. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, it's from the from the point of view, I mean, if you were on the toss and you were the Irish captain on, what would you do? Oh, you'd have to bat. Yeah. I mean, I think you'd have to bat. I mean, our, our, our attack has been the one area that perhaps hasn't been as strong as we would have liked at times. Um, and that could be a concern, obviously. But I, so I think you've got to put the pressure on the Pakistanis and uh, listen to me, you know, Murray Bridge, D grade, uh, under <laughs> sevens. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think you've got to put them under pressure. And, and the thing is, if you can post, you know, if you can post 350, 360, you know, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, all of a sudden, at least then you're in the driver's seat. They're chasing it. Yeah. You can work your tactics around yeah. that. So that, that would be my, uh, so, you know, uh, William, if you're listening, uh, that'd be my... Yeah. You, mate. Murray Grade, under sevens. Yeah, yeah. Didn't that's you get a it. ton for them as well, didn't you? <laughs> did I? No. <laughs> you told me you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did by <laughs> bowling. <Yeah. laughs> but, but if you think, if you think, I mean, a 206 for three mm. against India. That after 30, 30, or 202 for three yeah. after 38 overs. You would have thought that, you know, certainly 300. Yeah. If you mentioned there 360, uh, I think that would give huge comfort. But I mean, and when you look at the way the opening partnership against India between Sterling and Porterfield was amazing, you know, yeah. it certainly it, it'll be very interesting, you know. Well, indeed. Uh, the other thing, the uh, Windies, well, they, they play, I think, a couple of hours before their game starts, a couple of hours before yeah, our hours, starts hour in, before. in Napier. Yeah. And uh, I'm seeing a bit of precipitation in the general area. Is that a rain dance, Robbo? That's more a nervous tick, okay. worrying about whether it's going to rain or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, well, uh, the, the rain is on the way. It's yeah. just uh, the man upstairs hasn't decided when it's exactly going to arrive yet. I mean, let's face it, you know, the, the ideal scenario is we get out there and we spank Pakistan. Yes. You know, yes. that's what we would all love to do. But that's in our control. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. However, yeah. if it rains, well, <laughs> yeah. who are we to complain? 48 hours time, yeah. we'll pretty much know. Indeed, indeed. All right, it's uh, all thanks to currencyfair.com, um, our very good friends uh, who have supported us with buzzers and bales and it's starting to get down to the working end of the World Cup. So let's join our guest today. 
Well, Sunday morning is going to be a very, very early morning or late night for most Irish cricket fans, I would think, when Ireland look to place themselves into the quarterfinals of the World Cup uh, in that fantastic match in Adelaide against Pakistan. And we're very pleased to have on the line Alex Cusack from the Irish team. Alex, welcome to Bales and Buzzers. Great to have you with us. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. What's the mood in the camp like leading up to Sunday? Yeah, the mood's been pretty good. Uh, we've had a couple of uh, tough travel days over the past week, I suppose. But uh, today we're back training and uh, the guys were getting stuck in again. So all's looking pretty good for uh, Sunday. And confidence high? Yeah, confidence is pretty high. I think uh, obviously we were beaten the other day, but um, you know we still managed to go, you know, take some positives out of that game. So. Uh, India have been probably one of the best teams in the tournament so far, so we sort of put it up to them at, at certain times, which is good. So, you know, the confidence is, is still pretty high, um, especially after winning three ga games out of our group as well. So. Yeah, and I suppose, Alex, you know, well, before the competition started, we were looking at, you know, winning three and getting through to the quarterfinals, and now we have to win four to get to the quarterfinals. What, any change in the strategy is regards the game that might have been planned from before the tournament for Sunday? Uh, not really. We always sort of knew we'd probably, you know, could possibly come down to this, but we'd have to beat maybe Pakistan or another one of the big teams. So, um, I think it's just like any other game. You know, most games that we play now, there's a lot of expectation for the Irish cricket team. Um, so I don't think it'll be any different on uh, Sunday. You know, like every game from here on to knockout. So we've played, I think, it was a past sort of seven or eight years, we've been in a lot of those sort of situations, so hopefully we can uh, come good again on uh, Sunday. The Adelaide Oval, normally a very, very good batting track, so that works in our favour, <clears throat> excuse me, but obviously also works in favour of the Pakistanis, and uh, and bowling is going to be as crucial on that deck. Yeah, um, it's, I think it's sort of, I had to tell the other day, it's playing a bit slow because of the drop-in wickets, but um, it's still short boundaries on that sideways, so... You know, bowling's going to be crucial for us. We just sort of stick to our game plan and try and hit our areas and put them under pressure and, and start taking a few wickets. Um, you know, hopefully we can do well from that. And of course, Alex, there in the Zimbabwe game with your own uh, ice cool nerves in, the, in that game, uh, how are you feeling for Sunday in your, your own form? And your Because you've had a fair bit of injury in the, in the last while. Yeah, it's a bit stiff and sore today, uh, just from all the trouble we've been doing. But uh, we've had a few massages and a bit of treatment and that. Got through a few overs today, so I'll step it up again tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's feeling pretty confident. I, I suppose I haven't really opened the bowling much for Ireland, but uh, we're just trying to make, make do uh, the best I can and just trying to charge in and hit the wicket and, and, and do a job for the guys. But yeah, hopefully on Sunday can put in another big performance. Well, obviously, um, without giving anything away, but um, batting first, generally speaking, has been a good strategy for us. So I reckon if the toss was won by ourselves, uh, we'd be in the bat again, do you think? Um, I'm not sure. Like, to be fair, we've sort of been just going by um, what, what we think is best on a day, as in the conditions um, and, I suppose, previous sort of statistics, as in who, who does best batting first or bowling first. So... Uh, I think we'll have a look at that over the next day or two and, and then I suppose make a decision from there and hopefully go out there and, and do a job, whatever decision we make. Yeah, and Alex, you know, it's been four weeks now since the competition started and as a team and a squad, you've been together for you know quite some time now. Overall, how's, how's the overall mood getting towards the quarterfinals? Yeah, it's really good. The, the guys are in, in good spirits. Um, you know, we had a, a good uh, team quiz last night and I, and a couple of quiet drinks, so that was a bit, bit of fun as well. So, you know, everyone's getting along really well. And, you know, I think in general there's always good teams there throughout the, throughout the guys. So, um, you know, hopefully on Sunday, we, you know, we'll jump together again. Well, listen, we're all behind you. Um, it's going to be fantastic to get to this point, and we wish you all the very, very best of success uh, on the weekend. We know you'll do us proud um, and put in a great performance. So all the very best, and please pass on our best to the rest of the lads too. Well, do. Thanks very much, guys. So there we are, Johnny. It's all yeah. down to this Sunday morning.
and can we make history and get through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup? You know, some are saying it is the biggest game in Irish history. Well, I don't know about that, but it's certainly right up there with it, isn't it? Oh, it, it, it is. There's no doubt about it. And so whether you go to bed early and then get up at half three or whether you stay up right through, I know there are, there are places that are showing the game. So it really is going to be very exciting. Yeah. Um, and Larry the Leprechaun, yeah. uh, he's been one of the absolute heroes of the World Cup uh, as yeah. well. Um, so we're going to try and get him on the line and see whether we can have a chat to him at some stage. For the Wilder Rover. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Listen, thanks for joining us, Johnny. And thanks, uh, when, when next we chat, hopefully it'll be about the lead up to the quarterfinal clash featuring Ireland here on Bales and Buzzers. Thanks for joining us and talk to you soon. Bye for now.